Hi everyone, my name is Corgelina with Pixel Art Mysteries and Education and you are watching the Animal Sticker Mashup video, which means that you have purchased our sticker mashup activity doesn't necessarily have to be this one. Um, so thank you so much. This is going to walk you through how to edit it and make it your own for your own classroom or your own TPT store because these are able to be used commercially. So again, thanks for trusting us and um, let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing that we wanna talk about is creating the pictures that will um, be your picture progression or the stickers that go away. This is already set up to do that. Um, so you have all of the slides here on the side, regardless of which one you purchase, they're all made to already disappear. I do want to add here, this is for your own creative process. Um, these stickers are completely um, um, repositionable, so you can move them to wherever you want. If you don't like the setup here, um, you can do this on your own. So set them up however they um, you would like to, but they're already set up for a very easy uh, for a very easy way to edit them okay so let's just go ahead and look at what you have i'm going to hit the present button and this is what your activity is going to look like once you're done so every time that the students answer a question correct the stickers start leaving and then in the end they reveal whatever picture you put in the background so that's what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about how do we change this background so that it is a picture that you want to include um, for your class so what I'm and then you can use this template many, many, many times. OK, so I'm going to hit background and I'm going to choose image and I'm going to choose a silly meme. So I teach high school and my students are definitely going to get a kick out of this one. I plan on using this activity around Thanksgiving. So I found this really um, easy, um, this really funny meme about mashed potatoes. So I'm going to hit open. and then add to theme. So in case you missed any of that step, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go to background, choose image. You can then either drag and drop into here if you have that picture somewhere where you can easily drag it or browse. I do like going the browse method anytime that I'm making a video because it just shows all the steps. And then you select the picture wherever it is that you saved it in your computer, hit open. And then the very important step before you close this out is to hit add to theme. If you don't hit add to theme, it's going to just change the background for whatever slide you selected. If you hit add to theme, it changes every single one of these slides. And that's all you have to do. So notice how now if I go to present mode, every time the stickers go away, what I'm revealing in the end is that picture that I want to reveal. Okay, so that is it. That's all you're doing with the slides. And now what we wanna do is we want to download these pictures so that we could include them into our Google Sheets template, which is what students in essence would be answering. Okay, so in order to do that, you have to select one at a time. Okay, so I like to be very careful here and I like to select the top one, go to file, download, PNG. Okay, so file, download, PNG, the first one. Okay, and then I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna wait a little bit. And then I just watched it come down here. It saves it here because I'm using Chrome. So now I'm gonna move on to the next one. I clicked on the second one. File, download, PNG. And then watch how it's gonna come in the second one. Perfect, it's working. So then I'm just gonna go one by one. File, download, PNG. Fourth one, file, download, PNG. Fifth one, file, download, PNG. Sixth, file, download, PNG. File, download, PNG. Eight, file, download, PNG. Keep going. Nine, file, download, PNG. The reason why I do this in order is because my computer will automatically start downloading them and putting a number at the end. So I'll show you when we're ready um, for them. File, download, PNG, what I mean by that. 12, file, download, PNG. 13, file, download, PNG. 14, we're almost done. File, download, 
PNG, and then 15, which would be your meme file download PNG. Okay, so a couple of tips here. Maybe I should have told you this in the beginning. My computer is set up so that these downloads go into my download folder because I know that immediately after I download this, I'm going to put them right into my Google Sheets. I like to make sure that my download folder is clean. So then the only thing that's in my downloads folder is all of these that we just downloaded. Okay, so let's, um, again, I'm gonna show you what I mean, but before we do that, we have all of these pictures downloaded. If you haven't done that yet, pause the video and take care of doing that. Saving them all into a folder where you can very easily access them because we are going to be uploading them in just a little bit. Now I'm gonna walk you through this Sheets template. It's very, very much, um, self-explanatory what to do here in the front, right? We want to change our um, title of our worksheet. This is for me, I'm going to be making a um, vocabulary worksheet. So I'm going to say chapter or let's say unit one vocabulary uh, practice. Okay, so that's for me. And in the directions, I'm just going to put read the definition or description and decide which word, which vocabulary word it is describing. Type that word into the answer column. If your answer is correct, some of the stickers will disappear. And in the end, reveal a silly joke. Something like that. All right, so I first noticed, I actually don't like the setup of this. I don't like that it cuts off here. I really did that on purpose so that you can watch this in the video. We want to merge all these together. I want my directions to go all the way across. You can also, maybe if you only want them on one side, you can do that too. So I'm gonna select this and I'm going to select all of these and then go over here to merge cells. Now that looks so much better. You can also put them in the center. Okay, and if you wanna um, write a learning target, you can right here. I'm not going to, so I'm gonna take this out. Okay, so I'm not going to add a learning target. But if you wanna learn and uh, add a learning target in there, you can. Over here on all the white ones, we would type in our questions, but we'll do that in just a little bit. What we wanna do next is put our pictures in here. So I'm clicking over on sheet two, and notice how right when you access sheet two, you see all of the pictures that I have uploaded already. This is just for a guide, right? Nobody that has purchased these is going to wanna use these, this has the um, our logo so really your students aren't even going to recognize that so what we want is i'm going to delete all these i'm going to highlight all of these and hit backspace and then i'm going to replace that with the pictures that i just downloaded to do that i want to open up my um downloads folder so this is my downloads folder it's all nice and clean now because i had cleared it before so every time that i downloaded a picture they saved here if you didn't do that, you should definitely have a folder where you have all of the pictures that you downloaded from this portion here, okay? So I am going to now split my screen so that you can see both at the same time. Okay, so I have, I'm on column L over here. This is where all my pictures need to go. And then over here, I have all of my pictures. Um, this is my folder. There is a little one cut out here. It's number one. So notice how it starts here with two, three, four, five. One is up here. It's just cut off. Okay. Your blank picture is going to be saved without a number. So it's going to be all the way at the bottom. Okay. So I am going to insert that one here where it says blank. I'm going to go right next to the other column and I'm going to go to five, um, to insert image image in cell, you can browse your computer, or if you have the folder next to it, you can just drag and drop. All right, and this is what I was talking about before, that these numbers help me see what question they go in. So for question number one, I'm gonna go to insert, 
image, image in cell, and go over to my slides number one, which you can't see, but I'm dropping it there. You'll see the other ones. Now I'm gonna do number two. Insert, image, image in cell, question two. And the next, so I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get all the way down to 14. Insert, image, image in cell, number three. Insert, image, image in cell, number four. This is what should take you the longest um, because it's just a very repetitive process, but definitely not hard. Insert, image, image in cell, number five. And I'm probably just gonna do this silently because I don't wanna annoy you with just the sound of my voice. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that though. I don't know if I could just stay quiet. Wow, I always do that at least once. I clicked on it instead of dragging. So I'm getting very close to the end. Once I'm done with all of these, what I like to do when we switch over is I like to check that it works, that I did it correctly. Um, that way if I made a mistake somewhere, like if I uploaded the wrong picture, then I can go back and I can fix it. Before I add all my questions, right? Like before it gets super annoying, uh, if I've done a bunch of work and then I need to hit the undo button. Um, so I like to just kind of check after every um, step. So here is number 14, that's my last one. I'm gonna close out this folder and then that way I could just open up here. Okay, so I have all my um, pictures that I downloaded already in there. Okay, so now I wanna test to make sure that this works. Okay, so I'm gonna delete all the answers and then this is what the activity would look like when students get it. And then every time I type in an answer, some stickers should be removed. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Perfect, it works. All right, now that, it's, now that I know it works, I'm gonna start typing in my questions. Okay, so on this first one, and this is going to, again, be super, super repetitive, I am going to be typing in words. If you have a math equation or something like that, and it just needs to be typed like 2x plus 1, you can go ahead and type that in there. If you have a picture to import as a question, then you would do the same thing we just did. You would go to insert, image, image and cell and then insert whatever equation or diagram or anything like that that you need to insert into the question. Okay, so again, mine are going to be words, so I'm going to type that in. Um, let me pick from my activity something that is short. Of course, all the ones that I have in here are long. Okay, so let's do this one. My first question is going to be a variable that assigns labels that place each individu individual into a particular group called a category. And right, so that's my first definition. Notice how it's all huge. Obviously that font size does not work for me, so I am going to have to change this. I'm gonna change this font size to 10. I am going to left justify it and then i'm going to use this text wrapping and make sure that it wraps so now my definition is nice and in there and the answer to this one is categorical variable so i'm going to type that in categorical variable okay so again huge notice how now it's incorrect i need to tell my key that this should be a correct answer i'm going to change this to 12 and i'm going to make it text wrap all right, 
how do I make my worksheet now see this as a correct answer? Well, in order to do that, I need to go to sheet two. Okay, so my first answer is categorical variable. So I need to go over here to sheet two, and where it says answers here, I'm going to change this to categorical variable. And now it's correct. Really, that is absolutely all there is to it. You input your questions, and then you go over to your answers, and you type in the correct answer. I like to do them one at a time so that I can check, uh, but sometimes, because now I've done these so many times, I do type in all my questions and all my answers. Um, but the first couple of times that I did this, I was definitely going back and forth um, just to check to make sure that um, my answers were working. Okay, so I'm gonna do another one. Um, let's see, process of describing data using graphs and numerical, numerical summaries. All right, so I'm gonna check, this one I did a size 10. So I actually want all of them to be the same. So I'm gonna select all of this so that then it matches. I'm going to select all of them, change it to 10, left justify it, and text wrap. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to these because it's all going to be similar. Select both columns, size 10, left justify it, and text wrap. All right, the answer to number two is data analysis data analysis so same thing this is size i chose size 12 so i'm going to select both of these change it to size 12 and i am going to add a text drop all right second answer data analysis so data analysis and now my answer is correct so I would just keep doing this over and over until all of your um, questions have been answered. I'm going to do one over here on number eight, just because it doesn't have to go in order. So let's see. Um, tells what values a variable takes and how often it takes these values. And the answer to this one is distribution. So because this is distribution, number eight, I'm gonna go over to sheet two, and for number eight, I'm gonna change this one to distribution. And that's it, it all works. Okay, so um, I would definitely finish all of these, right, all of these questions, but for the sake of the video, and so that it's not super repetitive and you don't watch me go through this entire thing, I'm now going to show you how to hide sheet two, right? Because you don't want your students to just go here and now they have all their answers, right? That would defeat the whole purpose. So what I do in this case is hide it, okay? So once all of your questions and all of your answers are in, you wanna hide sheet two. The way that I do that is a couple of different layers because I don't want my students to have super easy access to this. So I select the columns that have text. So, okay, I selected the column by clicking K. Then I'm gonna hit my command or control key and I'm going to select P, Q, and R because all these have text in them. <coughs> I'm going to change that text size to be super, super small. So I'm talking about size one. That's how tiny they are. Okay, the other thing that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select just the fields that have text. All of them. I'm going to right click and go to conditional formatting. Notice how they all turn blue, um, but instead I want this to turn white and then for the font to turn white. Done, notice how the font, the uh, text is now gone. Students can't see it, you can't see it. Right, so the reason why I do this is because when, the reason why I hide it this way instead of now just changing the font to white is because students have caught on that they could just come here and switch the font, right? They can switch it to blue, but notice how nothing changes, right? And that's because it's conditionally formatted to be white, so the, re the students would have to turn that off. Okay, and I'm not gonna mention how to do that in the video, um, but if you wanna know how to turn that off, definitely uh, send us an email and I'll let you know privately. Um, and then the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this column, right click and go hide. And that's just so that it doesn't show up 
right? Um, the pictures don't show up. And then last but not least, I'm gonna hide the whole sheet. I'm going to right click here and go to hide. And that's it. Now students can't see the sheet and they also can't see their answers. Okay, so that is all that there is to it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, definitely leave, um, leave them down below. We do get back to you guys super, super quick um, or send us an email. But thank you again for um, supporting us. We are super excited um, to see what you come up with and hopefully it helps you take off your own store if you do have a teacher's pay teacher's stores. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.